Well, back in the uh, mid-1990s, a colleague of mine, Paul Schultz, who at the time was at Ohio State and I, began doing some work on the NASDAQ stock market and actually taking a look at the way stocks were, were quoted on NASDAQ. When we began this work, we really weren't looking for anything uh, nefarious. We didn't really know that much. This is a new field. This market microstructure was a new field. And one of the days that we were looking at, the market fell by about 4 or 5% on that day, which was a big move back in the 1990s. And at the time, Prices could move in increments of 12 and a half cents. We trade now in decimals, but at the time we were moving in price increments of 12 and a half cents, which meant that, that the intermediaries, the NASDAQ market makers, the smallest amount they could make on, on a trade was basically the, this 12 and a half cent difference between the price at which they, they bought and sold. What we found that the market makers were doing in some of the most active NASDAQ stocks was they avoided half of the price fractions. So when you, you quote in 12 and a half cents per dollar, and you eliminate all of the odd eighth quotes, you're eliminating the, the one eighth, three eighth, five eighth, and seven eighth. What you're left with are the even eighth quotes, and those have a, a difference of 25 cents, which is double the, the spread or double the profit the market maker should have been making. And so what that did was that inflated the trading cost for, for investors to the benefit of the market makers. This was not something we set out to do. And, and in fact, before we began the work, we assumed that NASDAQ would be a very competitive um, you know, kind of an efficient type of market. So we were, we were you know, astounded by what we saw. We presented this to the NASDAQ people and they, they uh, were not very receptive to it. So we thought that if we brought this to the general public's attention that they would have to listen. It generated uh, a great deal of interest, including investigations by the Justice Department, the SEC, and a group of civil, uh, civil attorneys who filed the class action lawsuits. Well, after all the dust settled, the Justice Department concluded that the market makers had colluded to maintain these widespreads. Uh, the SEC found the same evidence, and that just played into the hands of the civil litigation that did finally uh, settle in December of 1997 for a total, I believe, of a little over a billion dollars.